For those who may have not known, this is the GP4 gas mask, not known as the commonly GP4. Why? There's a few notable difference between the two. This is the earlier one, which was produced in this specific example, I mean, was produced in 1954, opposed to my later example that was produced in 1967. So. Let's see what they changed through the years of developing this mask. So as you can see right off the bat, um, you can see that it's the hose is significantly shorter. It's kind of weird how short it is. You have to wear the bag really high up in order for it to be comfortable, I guess. They also had a very nice strap system on the back didn't get tangled compared to the newer gp4 i mean look how neat this is compared to all this still both do the same task of course but i just much prefer this hedge setup than the new one and it has these buckles that are directly crypted into the rubber opposed to it being hooked on to these rubber rubber tabs so that's what they have changed throughout the gears. If we compare both of these, let me adjust the camera, okay. If we pair, compare both of these, they're the same thing opposed to the sizing because this is a size one, this is a size two. Uh, it's hard to get all these in frame, but I will do my job as best as I can. So the hose is really short. So that's the hose and then the GP4 hose, GP4 Y hose has to fold over like that. So this, hose is no i mean the gray hose is about 50 percent bigger than the black hose which is interesting they did upgrade this hose in my opinion i think this is a better option so this mask was like they stepped forward but then they stepped back they didn't know like they adopted good features but left out old ones the good features being the option to remove the head harness and the longer hose but sadly, they left behind the nice head straps. Why they did it, I don't know. It seems counterintuitive. Although they like try to make everything cheap, uh, they just should have kept the head harness. What they should have done is, in my opinion, I would have much preferred that have this one with the nicer head strap than this one with the more messy head strap. That's my opinions on it. They're both typical affair, same interiors as you can see, nothing too special. My example is missing the exhale valve as well as the second exhale. I mean, it's missing both the exhale cage guard and then the exhale valve. Still seals, still does its job very nicely. Does not fit me of course, but I've smushed it on my face and it does indeed seal after all these years. That's really it, I mean, as you guys know, the GP4 project really n never went that far um, because it was preceded by the GP5. Here, let me get this out of the frame. You don't care about the regular GP4. Why? You, you care about the original GP4. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is the GP4. That's it. The other one is the GP4. Why? Or improved, but not really improved. Partially improved. So, th yeah, but this is what you guys came to see. The hose is, you know, your typical Soviet rubber hose. This turns to accept gauss threaded mass, I mean filters. This example did not come with a filter. It was a bidding by itself. I got it for $16. It was $1 plus $8 shipping and it all and it went up to like 8, so I paid 16. Really glad I won this actually. Um you don't see these too often. This is quite a rare example of an early GP4. I do have a couple of pictures I may include in the video, but um, I went, I searched it up on fuck, uh, on Google, but I typed in like Russian GP4 black hose, but like in Russian language. And the examples that I saw were terrible. My goodness gracious. They were awful. They were rusted and I think I have like one of the better examples, to be honest. This mask is basically, if I wanted to, I could take the, the cage guard off the other GP4 and put it on this, but it's really not worth it. So I think I, re I really want on this one. Um, it's in remarkable condition regarding its age and everything else about it. 
One interesting thing to note, I found a weird example about mine. As you can see, it's very cinched up here. So what happened originally was this was tightened, but then someone tied it around this buckle. So you couldn't adjust it. So I had to untie it. I don't know why they did it, um, why this user did it, but it's just one weird thing I had with the mask. One personal interesting thing. Lenses have, what is that? I don't know what that is, that black stuff, but lenses are good. Um, clear glass, no yellowing, no stains. Talcum powder. I mean, it's overall really nice example. I If you see this Russian collector or not, I still recommend you pick this up. It's really a once in a lifetime opportunity in terms of collecting masks because you just never see this. Out of the three, two, three years I've been collecting, this is the first time I've seen this ever. Not just on eBay, just on Reddit, Discord. Like, this is the first time. Besides Sam Haynes' gas masks, he featured this mask. He doesn't own one, but he showed pictures. That is it.